Have you ever been woken up in the middle of the night by something that definitely could have waited until the morning? Yeah, then you know exactly how I feel. Yeah, these bags, that's because of interrupted sleep. So these are some facts about deprived sleep and how to deal with it. Just one night of interrupted sleep can actually make you feel more depressed and have more fatigue. It can also reduce strength, ability to fight off uh, things like small infections, and performance in anything requiring any level of concentration. Now, there are different stages of sleep, and they run in a cycle. So any interruptions makes your body start over, and you don't reap the benefits of the restorative sleep, sleep cycle. So being sleep deprived definitely takes a toll on your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. You definitely won't be able to react as quickly. So. You know, things like driving and work involving power tools or heavy machinery can actually be really dangerous. You definitely won't be able to think as clearly, so this definitely affects memory, processing, and decision making. Like I mentioned before, it definitely affects your emotions, so you'll be cranky because your emotions will be kicked into high gear. So that argument you had the day after waking up in the middle of the night, that was probably you who started it and you probably blew things way out of the board. Interrupted sleep pretty much has the same effects as lack of sleep. And losing just one hour can make a big difference. Now, it increases risk of heart attacks, it harms your brain by stopping production of new cells, uh, it speeds up tumor growth because of the disruptive melatonin production, which actually helps to get rid of cancer cells. Uh, it loses blood pressure, so if you've already got high blood pressure, just, you know, get your sleep, you know, you need it. You actually age a lot faster because of the interference with your growth hormone production. It definitely messes up with your ability to lose weight or maintain it because it messes up with your metabolism. And you know those people who usually wake up at midnight to get a snack? They usually have weight troubles because of it. And you know what? That's because the hormone that helps you to feel uh, satiated actually decreases and the hormone that makes you feel hungry increases. Also, being deprived of sleep can increase your risk of dying from basically anything. Because even small infections can become big problems because it messes with your immune system and it just decreases the ability for your immune system to work properly. Now you're probably wondering what to do to prevent all this. You can do things like avoid eating a lot of food or anything spicy before bedtime. Any pain that you have, try to avoid it. Like menstrual cramps, try using an pad. Definitely avoid alcohol close to bedtime and absolutely avoid mixing drinks because from personal experience, feeling sick usually prevents you from going to sleep. And obviously, don't use any electronics at least within an hour before bedtime. Now, you're definitely going to want to try getting as much sun during the day as you can and shut off all lights for bed. Even if you have to wake up to go to the bathroom, don't turn on the light. 
your eyes will actually adjust to the darkness. You'll be able to see in the dark. Pretty cool. This way, after you wake up for your trip to the bathroom, you can fall back to sleep more easily. Try taking a shower before bed, about an hour to an hour and a half beforehand, because your body will warm up during the shower, and after coming out of the shower, it will cool down, which helps the process of actually falling asleep. And of course, you'll actually feel more rested because, well, you're clean. <laughs> Definitely try to keep a fan or some kind of air conditioning in your room, especially if it's super hot, because keeping your body at lower temperatures at night can definitely improve sleep. Try to keep your room just a couple of degrees cooler than your normal body temperature. If you're not a parent, doctor, and your place is not in danger of things like fire, earthquake, or hurricane, make sure that everyone knows that what they have to say, it can wait until morning. Especially if you have a boss that likes to call you at all hours of the night, you know what you can tell them? They're actually decreasing your performance level by interrupting your sleep. So there you go. Now, if you like those facts on sleep deprivation and how to help, make sure you like it, subscribe, and definitely come back for more. Be sure to tell your friends, because I swear it's not a sure.